Hi guys, welcome to episode 3. Uh, thanks for staying tuned. In this episode, we have found a car on eBay. We've bid on it and we've won it. So what's going to happen, I'm going to go and collect that car and I'm going to take you through every step of the way. What I'm doing once I've found the car and I'm physically going to go and see it. So stay tuned and we'll see if we've got ourselves a good car or not. So we've placed our bids on the cars and it looks like we've won one. We've won the 1999 Ford Focus 1.8 ZTEC, a three-door model with very low mileage, just 87,000 miles, and a long MOT. So to see some more photos of the car, we need to click on this single photo here where it says ended, and that'll bring up the whole of the original listing. And now we've got all the photos. I'll just skim through this quickly. Um, basically, looks like a very nice, straight, sound original car. There's no evidence of any poor panel alignment to suggest the car's ever had a bump or anything like that. There's no difference in paint colour between any of the panels. I've had a close look at this using the magnifier option on eBay. Alloys look like they're in very good nick with very little marks on them. And yeah, it looks like a fantastic straight car. No rust, importantly. No rust on the sills, um, no rust on the wheel arches that I can see. And I did ask a couple of questions to confirm that. Interior is in very good condition. Apparently there's a little wear on the bolster here. If you can't see in the photo. It's a top spec model with leather steering wheel, aircon, heated front and rear screens. Which is great. And yeah. I'm very excited to be getting this one. And only £211. What a bargain. That's brilliant. Of course it does have some issues. So... Dashboard door open warning light remains on. It's probably just a door sensor or something. I'm sure, we can sort that. Bonnet has poor previous paint repair. I've looked at the bonnet in good detail, so um, whatever the problem is, it can't be a big deal, so I'm not too worried about that. General wear and tear. Bodywork related scratch, dings, and stone chips. Well, on the whole, it looks pretty good. On startup, the engine idles poorly. Well, we can have a look at that. Could just need a service or something bit of an investigation, we'll sort that out, sort that out, probably nothing too serious and it's got a long MOT till June next year fantastic two previous owners, 87,000 miles and that long MOT brilliant, even got some service history with it as well that is just great, you can't expect much on a car of this kind of price but uh, I think we could have a bargain on our hands here can't wait to go pick it up So this is what I've taken with me to go get the Focus. Got a book to read on the train, Terry Patrick book, a bit of Discworld, bottle of water, rucksack, and importantly, I've printed off the eBay listing. So I'll give that a read on the train to make sure I'm completely familiar with all the faults and the positive points of the Focus, and I'll check them all when I go see the car. Importantly, I'll check it's had the number of owners claimed, the mileage is as claimed, and yeah, there's no outstanding faults that haven't been mentioned. If it's not as described, I'll just leave it. So I have arrived, let's go find my contact. Name's Gareth, I've got his mobile number and he's going to be in a silver mini so it should be quite easy to spot. Let's go find him. Right, looking for a guy called Gareth. Silver mini. And there we have a silver mini, let's go find Gareth. Well this is the Focus I've come all this way to see. First impressions are pretty good. Looking down the side of the car, all the panel alignment seems right, which is the gap between panels. It seems even and consistent. All the same colour, there's no miscolour panels on the car, everything's looks pretty sweet there, doesn't look like it's had any paintwork. With the exception of the front bumper and a bonnet, which isn't fantastic, but uh, I was expecting that anyway. Let's go have a chat with the guy. So here's the focus, all bought and paid for. Ended up paying £200 for it in the end. 
It's a pretty sweet car, pretty amazing what you can get on eBay for very, very little money. Absolute bargain. I expect to see something like this in this condition up for sale. Very few minor tweaks for around 700 quid easily. So, let's uh, get it home. So, the focus is home. Uh, got back okay. Pretty uneventful drive. By that idle problem that the seller mentioned. is a lot worse than uh, he made out. On the motorway, it uh, had a bit of a mind of its own, really. It was sometimes idle high, sometimes idle low. So that's something we'll have to look into. Probably just clean up some sensors or something like that. There we are. So, yeah, funny story. You know that whole, uh, let's make a YouTube video series teaching people how to buy and sell cars on eBay, making money off them? Well, the thing is, you make a lot of offers when you're looking for a car on eBay. You don't just bid on one, you bid on loads. We may have two. Let's see what it is. Here we have our latest project, the Ford Puma. So this was one we got off eBay. It was a classified listing with best offer. I made an offer of 250 quid on the car, which was accepted. That was my second offer. My first offer was 275. That was declined. A few days later, I made him a lower offer of 250 pound, which was accepted. So what have we got? We've got a decent enough car on the whole of it. It's only done 71,000 miles. It's only had about four or five owners. Um, it's got a new MOT, well, 11 months MOT on the car. Uh, Bodywork is generally very good. These Pumas suffer from rusty arches, and this one's no exception. It does have rust on both rear wheel arches. Also has a little scrape on the back here, on the back bumper. But nothing too dramatic. We can touch that up with a bit of touch-up paint. One thing I was unaware of, when I went to get the car, it had the steel wheel on it instead of the alloy wheel I was expecting. So apparently we've got a puncture to deal with. But not to worry, we've got the alloy wheel in the boot. So it's just a case of uh, getting that tyre resealed or getting the puncture fixed. Inside, what have we got? Inside, it's all standard and original. No boy racer mods or anything like that. It's got a lovely Nokia mobile phone holder, CD player, aircon, heated front screen. This is the uh, later model, it's got all the toys on it. Everything works, including all the windows and mirrors. Checked all that when I went to collect the car. And the body works all very straight. It's a good clean and polish, but the panel alignment is spot on. Let's have a look at the front where that's most important. So, panel alignment, the gap between panels, i.e., in this case, the gap between the bonnet and the two wings. We have a look at that gap. We can see that it's pretty consistent all the way up. We can see that the bonnet isn't lower or higher than the wing. And, importantly, do exactly the same on the other side. And we can see it's exactly the same as the left-hand side. So that shows us the car has not been involved in a front end impact. We can do the same on the back, and the back end is fine as well. Also see, the car has not never been painted because all the panels are exactly the same color, and with a bit of a polish, it should come up lovely. Now that we've got the cars, on the next episode, we'll decide which project we're gonna follow on YouTube, whether it's the Project Focus or Project Puma. So, Tune in, subscribe, like for more, and I'll show you in the next episode how to fix the faults. I'll identify the faults with all the cars, show you how to spot them, and then we'll go about fixing them, keeping the cash tight, and making sure we can maximise profits when we come to sell them. Tune in for that, and more.